we are now approaching the last quarter of 2023. We are going to be going into 2024 soon. There is still time to achieve our goals and our objectives. But ultimately, what are we trying to achieve? What is the success we're trying to aim for? I think as property managers, we're here, we're there, we're absolutely everywhere. I think it's important that we define for ourselves what does success look like? Are we following someone else's dream? Are we following someone else's idea of what we should be doing? Or are we actually doing what we want to achieve? What is success to you? What does it mean? Is it something you want to achieve? Is it something you are? Is it something you, a destination you're trying to get to? I think number one is definitely define success for yourself. Number two is assess your whole entire life. So I have an ebook called The Wheel of Life. This will enable you to look at all aspects of your life. That is your business, your finances, your environment, your love life, um, you know, all those, all those other areas. I think I've got about eight categories for you to look at. Now, in order for you to define success, you need to look at all those areas of your life because you're not just your business. You are multifaceted. There's things you want to do, hobbies you have. But ultimately, when you look at this wheel of life and you've defined each category from one to 10, once you've joined them all up into a round, into a round circle, you can see which numbers are higher that you, you, know, you feel more successful in and those that you don't. So those that are the lower number will then enable you to look at those categories in more detail. And those are the areas that perhaps you really wanna you know, get a bit more successful in. Um, you wanna just achieve a little bit more in. That will you know, assess which ones that you're not necessarily happy in. So for example, you know, your business could be absolutely soaring. It could be going so far, but your personal development is really low. You're not really you know, seeking more knowledge. You're just kind of working um, on a rabbit wheel. You're not necessarily, you know, expanding your mind any further so those are kind of things that you probably want to look at a little bit more now you've done the wheel of life and you've assessed your whole life now it's time to set some goals where do you want to get to what do you want to do I'm assuming you've probably done that already before the, you know at the beginning of the year most people set goals in like January or they decide to set goals in December for the following year as we're now in the last quarter of 2023 perhaps you could still set some goals that you could achieve before the year is out that is possible absolutely possible but perhaps you want to set some goals now to achieve in 2024 and that is fantastic also so definitely once you've assessed your wheel of life you want to then set some goals um have perhaps three or four goals that you want to achieve in all the different aspects of all, all the different categories. You don't want to have too many goals because you want to break those goals down into as many bite-sized pieces as possible and do a little bit each month. Next is making those dreams into reality or at least visually. So what I would do next is create a vision board. I have an ebook which you can find in the description below on how to go about creating a uh, vision board. I absolutely love vision boards. When I create a vision board which I do on Canva but you can obviously go as far as to you know cutting it out cutting out different pictures and putting it on a piece of paper you need to find pictures that um, represent the goals that you want to achieve ideally whichever time frame you've got I usually pick a time frame of a year you can have a vision board for specific goals that you want or you can have one big vision board to put everything that you want to achieve in that year on your vision board if for example you're planning a big birthday for next year what do you want the birthday party to look like you can do a vision board for that if you want you know to, your goal your goal is to have your business to you know six figures but you need to have you know so many staff and so many clients and so many properties you can create a vision vision board just for that whatever you would like your vision board to be you can do that and then whenever you see it, it needs to um, invoke emotion you need to be able to be visually uh, connected and emotionally connected to a vision board I personally have my vision board um, in my mirror that I see first thing in the morning. I have my vision board printed very small in my wallet so when I go to spend money, I know that I can't waste money because there's a goal that I wanna to get to. I have vision board on my mobile phone. So my mobile phone screensaver and my computer screensaver and my laptop screensaver. I have it in my car also. I've made sure I put my vision board everywhere because I'm not exactly gonna walk around with my goals written down everywhere. I've even got my vision board 
in my to-do list. I've got it everywhere. Everywhere where I look, I put my vision board because I want to keep it in front of my eyes so I can see it at all times and remember what it is I want to achieve by the end of the year. Have you got a vision board? I think it's a good idea definitely to have one. Please tell me in the description below if you yourself have considered getting a dream, getting a vision board or people call it a dream board. I'd be interested to have a discussion about this. Attitude is absolutely everything. You are what you think. If you think you can do it, then you can. If you think you can't do it, then you can't. Both options are right. I'm sure you've heard that saying before. You have to think about what it is you want to achieve and you just have to keep positive. I know people have said this before, oh, whatever, you know, positive, it's all woo-woo and blah, blah, whatever. The mind is so powerful, so, so powerful. If you think you can achieve something, then you can definitely achieve it. I'm not saying you can, you know, think you want to go to Mars and you want to go to Mars. To be fair, Elon Musk, he's trying to get to Mars. If you want to do something, you definitely can do it. You just have to put all the plans in place, all the steps in place, um, get any specific mentors and coaches and whatever else you need in order to keep your mind fresh. If you have any, you know, mental um, difficulties in terms of, you know, you've been through all sorts of stress and strifes, I would suggest you definitely get in a counsellor to, in order to clear your mind and to make sure that you can focus. Because if your mind is cluttered and you've got all sorts of things in, inside your inside your head, you're not motivated. You're in fact you're very demotivated and you have no energy. You just don't want to do anything. So definitely get a counsellor if you need one in order to get your mind clear and get a coach and a mentor to keep your mind focused on the tasks and activities that you need to do in order to achieve your goal. There's no such thing as failure. Well, okay, yes there is. But ultimately, if you think that you um, that you possibly can't do it and you just give up, then you know you never get there. I'm sure everyone's seen that picture where there's two men digging for diamonds. One guy is like pretty much two digs away and the other guy just gives up and he is even closer than the guy that's two digs away. He just turns around and gives up. I think what we have to do is obviously some businesses work, some businesses don't work, but you know, you have to kind of tweak things and amend things and learn from your mistakes or learn indeed from other people's mistakes. That's why we have coaches and mentors and accountability partners, people online who have done courses, we've got books available. There's so many resources available for you in order to not quit and not give up just to keep going sometimes when you decide oh when you quit and then you give up it's usually because of your mindset it's usually because you're not quite ready to put in the work or because maybe this business or whatever you're trying to achieve is just not for you at this precise moment so don't give up keep going keep striving or find another way around it there's always a way just keep if you're getting any nuggets from today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you put a thumbs up. That would be really great. And I also would love you to be a subscriber of this video as well. I'm putting out videos every single day about all sorts of aspects of property in order to help property managers get further in their business and for them to have a very successful business. In case you don't know, I am Tanya Day. I'm a virtual assistant and I've been a virtual assistant since 2012. I specialize in working with property managers, estate agents and property professionals. I work behind the scenes in their business to enable them to have a very clear administration section of their business so they can concentrate on money generating tasks, spending time with family and pursuing their own personal hobbies. Being uncomfortable will enable you to achieve success. It sounds absolutely ridiculous. I used to think, oh, I don't want to be uncomfortable. Why would I want to be uncomfortable? Why would I force myself to be uncomfortable to get to somewhere else? But there is no progress in the comfort zone. There really isn't. I must admit, when I first started doing videos on YouTube, I was absolutely petrified. I was thinking, oh my gosh, what are people are going to think? Um, people think I'm an idiot. How can I actually teach anybody anything? How can I demonstrate my knowledge to anybody? I don't know anything. But ultimately, I do know something. I have some information to share. I can talk for England. <laughs> Ultimately, you have to, it is uncomfortable. I can't lie. There are elements of it being, being a little bit uncomfortable. But ultimately, you have to push through it. If you want to get to somewhere, you can't do the same thing over and over and over and try and get a different result. You have to try something different, try something new, and unfortunately, get a little bit uncomfortable in order to achieve a different result. If you've done something for such a long period of time and you didn't get there, you have to try something different. It can be scary at first, but it is 
totally possible. You just have to believe in yourself. And I've done that with this YouTube video. I've got a hundred or so subscribers. I thank each and every one of you for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. School never ends. I'm sure you thought after your GCSEs were over, you go to college. After college was over, you may go to university or maybe do an apprentice. Once you've done your apprentice is finished and university is finishing, huh, maybe I'll do a master's, maybe I'll do a PhD. And then you know what? I'm done. I'm finished now. Education is over. No. Education in life is never, ever over. There's short courses to do, long courses to do, ebooks to read, videos to watch. You should never, ever end your education. There's always something more to learn. Ultimately, if you want to learn something, you want to better yourself, you want to achieve success, you need to constantly learn. In order for you to achieve success, I have created two ebooks. One ebook is about the wheel of life, so it enables you to assess all the categories of your life and create goals by looking at those specific categories which I spoke about earlier. The second book is for you to create your own vision board. Everyone should have a vision board. I've created those ebooks which will help you along your journey to achieving success. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please continue watching some other videos I have, especially the video on dominate your last Q4. This will enable you to move forward and to dominate the rest of 2023. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.